Guess what? If those business owners weren't so stubborn, they wouldn't have to go out of business. Marketers and advertisers have been calling them for years trying to help them set up their online presence. And all they say is, well, uh, we, we're packed today, so we don't really need a website. Or, well, we're packed today. We don't need any SEO or Facebook ads and stuff. And we don't need an app. In 20, everybody had to scramble to get apps. Everybody had to scramble to get an app built so that they can get delivery uh, services set up or they had to put their services and discount it fully on Uber Eats. Now, these businesses are, they're, they're desperate. So you can swoop through like a savior and get paid. Minority Mindset said that 100,000 restaurants has closed 2020 pandemic and will never open again. So. What should you do? I say you should invest. Keep watching to find out why I say that you should invest, okay? So, what restaurants closed in 2020 and probably won't open back up? Ruby Tuesdays, California Pizza Kitchen, Sizzler, and my personal favorite from childhood, which is Chuck E. Cheese. I cannot believe Chuck E. Cheese is gone. Oh no, Chuck E. Cheese is gone. Oh no. But yeah, Chuck E. Cheese isn't coming back, man. <laughs> All right, so why do I say right now is the perfect time for you to invest in restaurants all right so first of all i'm not talking about investing in stocks or buying shares that you guys are typically uh talking about i'm talking about joint investing yes that's right i'm talking about joint investing in restaurants joint investing makes it to where you have control over the branding the marketing the advertising the repackaging of the entire product and system if you have a skill such as one of the ones that i teach in the godfather of drop servicing course or in the new joint adventure uh, course then you will know exactly how to rebuild these local businesses am i talking about with bricks and mortar or anything like that no i'm talking about bringing them new traffic here's the reality maybe a hundred thousand restaurants did close during 2020 but certain chains actually succeeded and grew rapidly okay so if you paid attention during the beginning of this pandemic then you will remember that out of nowhere DoorDash skyrocketed uh, Instacart skyrocketed Uber Eats skyrocketed now the transportation industry part of uh, Uber, e uh, Uber might have took a fall that's why it's good to have your online presence up and running. So the only ones that took the fall out of the 100,000 that are closed out of the restaurant industry period are the ones that didn't have their online set up, the ones that didn't have any mobile apps that people could just order from. So I'm going to tell you exactly how and why you should invest now. Point investing, I'm not talking about going and just giving them money and walking off giving them a check and hoping that your money comes back to you and and that's it and you don't have any control joint investing allows you to maybe own 20 to 30 percent of the business uh, have control over who gets hired fired and what policies go out so that you can control how they treat the customers and those customers can bring more customers and more customers and that business can actually blossom instead of go down what types of restaurants will actually survive and thrive during this pandemic okay so they said a hundred thousand restaurants has went down at the beginning of this pandemic now i might be losing weight now but at the beginning of this pandemic, I, I gained so much weight. My entire family gained so much weight. Why? Because of Uber Eats and DoorDash. Since the restaurants were all closed, you didn't have a choice but to order your food from these apps. So what am I telling you? The ones that were set up for pickup and delivery are the ones that have thrived and will continue to thrive in this. Now, so I have another one for you. This one might be a little bit new for you guys. I recommend that you invest or joint invest with food trucks. Why? Because they're mobile. People still don't want to come out and eat dinner yet. They thought they did, but people are still paranoid and everything. So a food truck is perfect in between. You still get to leave the house, but you get to pick your food up and leave, okay? Food trucks would be perfect to joint invest in, and in the Godfather of Drop Servicing and in the joint investing course below in the description and first pinned comment, I show you exactly how you will go about getting those food trucks 
to allow you to join invest with them, uh, give you percentage of their company and the profits, as well as send them customers and you own a percentage of that. Okay, so <laughs> it's extremely powerful. That's why you should be joint investing. Restaurants are not going anywhere. That's part of our society and our social, <laughs> as, as humans, we've always wanted to eat together. All right, or get food from somebody else instead of cooking it ourselves. That's not going to change no matter what pandemic is out there. Okay, so food trucks and pickup and delivery restaurants are the ones that will thrive and survive through this, are the ones that you should join invest with. How do you start join investing? Well, as I said before, we have uh, in the pinned comment and the link in the description. I have it to where you can get into the Godfather of Drop Servicing right now, and when the joint investing course is available, you will get in there as well, okay? So you will be able to find these distressed restaurants and food truck companies and all of those people that are about to be bankrupt, and then you will have a certain way that I teach that you will be able to reach out to them and get them to agree to signing over a percentage of their actual local business that they built on their own and agreeing to allow you to refurbish and rebuild everything for them. Now, it sounds like a lot of work, but it's not. This can be set up in maybe a day or two, and you can start profiting before the week is out. That's how fast this works. Now imagine the restaurant in your neighborhood. Imagine that, the restaurant in your neighborhood that you grew up shutting down for life or the bar that you used to go to, the nightclub and all of that. They're shutting down because of this. What if you could tell them, don't worry, be happy. No, you can tell them, look, hey, what is a bar? Okay, yeah, we love the social aspect of it, but people come here to drink. Did you know that you can put up Facebook ads? and target people that love wine delivery in that city and you can still make a nice huge profit off of delivery and having the people come pick up boatloads of alcohol you can turn it into e-commerce do you guys understand that and guess what you the investor will own those assets you will own the online properties and you will own a percentage of the company all right, so you will restructure their entire business. You can do this within a week's time and then move on and invest in the next company, all right, without actually like coming up and giving them a dang on check. That's the wrong way of investing into a business and you shouldn't be investing into stocks as well. Don't invest into other people's business unless you have control. Shares is not proper control. I'm talking about the fact that you can go in and change policies. You can teach them how they're supposed to keep, uh, treat their customers. You teach them uh, what to put on their menu, how to sort it out and everything. It's like it's yours because you it is. You get a percentage of the company and you get a percentage of the profits off of each sale and transaction. Now that's 10 times more powerful than investing into stocks or, uh, or just giving somebody a check like the Shark Tank dudes and then letting them walk off, crossing your fingers, hoping that they become profitable. No. So let's recap. Which restaurants are closing forever? Ruby Tuesday, California Pizza Kitchen, uh, Sizzlers, and Chuck E. Cheese. There's a whole other list. Like it's, I just wanted to pull out the ones that you guys know. It says Pizza Hut is on that list as well. Why is right now the perfect timing to invest in restaurants? Well, the reason is this is the technology age, okay? If you can get a restaurant online and get it to where they offer pickup and delivery, then they can thrive, okay? So if you build a local app for them, and we teach you all of this, you build them a local app and the people can uh, order from that local app locally, then that restaurant does not have to go out of business. So I just showed you what type of restaurants will thrive, pick up and delivery. Now, lastly, how do you get into this? You go into the link in the description. Like I said, I learned this uh, in Minority Mindset. He uploaded a video talking about 100,000 Restaurants are going out of business. Well, guess what? If those business owners weren't so stubborn, they wouldn't have to go out of business. Marketers and advertisers have been calling them for years trying to help them set up their online presence. And all they say is, well, uh, we, we're packed today, so we don't really need a website. Or, well, we're packed today. We don't need any SEO or Facebook ads and stuff. And we don't need an app. <laughs> I remember back in a couple years ago, we were trying to sell apps to local restaurants and everything, and they didn't see the significance in it and the power in it. Now, 
in 2020, everybody had to scramble to get apps. Everybody had to scramble to get an app built so that they can get delivery uh, services set up or they had to put their services and discount it fully on Uber Eats or DoorDash or Instacart and all of those. <laughs> you have to dig the uh, well for the water before you're thirsty, right? Okay, so now these businesses are, they're, they're desperate. So you can swoop through like a savior and get paid. Joint investing, helping them rebuild. Okay, so go to the link in the description or the first pinned comment. You're gonna learn how to drop service in the Godfather of Drop Servicing, and you're also gonna learn how to do joint investing. See you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here.